Hey, welcome back to a, um, another Motion 5 tutorial. I do a lot of graphics, uh, motion graphics and text graphics and objects, graphics including objects and text and all sorts of stuff. Um, and I, I normally do them in C4D because to be honest, um, Cinema 4D is, is a lot better than Motion 5 for 3D text and graphics and objects and all that good stuff. But, and one of the first things you do in C4D, in order for the text or graphics or objects to interact, you create a floor, a background, a sky, or an environment. And I've not seen anybody show you how to do that in Motion 5, and you can do that quite effectively in Motion 5. So I'm going to show you how to create a floor in Motion 5 today. It's really easy, really quick. Um, so yeah, let's get on and do it. So um, I'll put the project properties on the screen somewhere as well, and I'm just going to go here and click Fit. So I'll click my, um, my, my screen, my viewing pane to fit. And I'm going to create some text. So the text I'm going to create is Motion 5 GFX. Why not? Why not indeed? And then I'm going to use my heads up display, F7 on your keyboard, or this little button right down here. And I'm going to make my text bigger. Um, I'm going to take the tracking down. And the tracking, all that does is just moves the space in between each character looking in between each letter it just allows me to take the um, take the text a little bit bigger click off click my group and then click my motion 5 um, text again and i'm going to put that somewhere in the middle it doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle i'm just going to put it somewhere in the middle now what i'm going to do i'm going to want to create a 3d environment so i'm going to create a camera and this will give me a pop-up box that asks me if i want to switch to 3d yes i do i want to switch to 3d um, and we've spoke about this before, you now get a few um, pan camera, orbit camera and dolly camera and the actual camera up in the top right hand up, up here where I'm clicking. And that's what that camera does. So now I'm going to want to add a light. So I'll click the light button down here, just this one right here. And with this light, because I'm in sort of 3D mode, I can move it left and right or down with these arrows and in or out with the blue arrow there look. And I also have a heads up display for the light as well um, quick inspector heads up display right over here but what I'm going to do I'm just going to move the light off to the left a second and I am um, going to move it out a little bit as well now what I'm going to do is going to create the floor and this is this is the point that I'm trying to make about creating the floor I'm not trying to make the point about creating the light creating using the camera or create the text because I've done those in other tutorials so if you're not seeing those please go and have a look at those this, this tutorial is not for that this is about creating the floor so I'm gonna to go to my library up at the top here and I'm gonna to go to my shapes now I'm gonna get this rounded rectangle and the way you can put this into your um, into your viewing pane is, is there's a few ways you can highlight it here and click apply you can drag and drop it into your layers pane here into your timeline here into your timeline here or you can just drop it straight onto the screen now because I'm in 3d mode Again, I'll get the chance to move it around my screen. Left, right, up, down, backwards and forwards with the, with the respective arrows. I also get the choice with these circles to rotate it left or right, diagonally, or up or down. And I'm just going to rotate it round and just face it down so it's looking at us. Right. So that's our floor. And instead of calling it a rounded rectangle, I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to double click in my layers of the rounded rectangle. And I'm going to rename it floor just for ease of speech. Click off it. Now what I'm going to do with these blue points, you can see I'm going to make the floor bigger but I'm not going to make it too big I'm going to want to keep these arrows somewhere in the middle of my screen because we're going to want to move them in, in a minute quite a cool thing with motion 5 is if you change something or edit something or resize something within the 3d mode when you when you're in 3d mode you get this perspective view just in the right hand side so you can see sort of zoomed out and actually what's happening right okay so that's our floor and I'm just going to move it up a little bit now Keep the floor selected, go to inspector, and just by default you'll have shape and style selected, you can see here. When I'm clicking shape and style selected in our inspector pane. I want to go to properties, and then I want you to go to underneath shadows, there's a thing called reflection, I want to highlight reflection. So click the box on reflection, and then click show on the right hand side. Now we're just going to leave that there for now, but if you look at back at our main screen, we've got a reflective floor. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this reflective floor 
bigger, right? Remember keeping these sort of in the middle, these arrows, because we're going to want to use them soon. You see what I'm doing? I'm just making it bigger, and the rear, I'm just going to drag that right out. Look. And this floor, I'm then going to lift up so it looks like it's the actual text is lying on the floor or is resting on the floor or on our background as it is now of our screen okay so that's cool it is actually indeed looks like it's lying on the um, line up so it looks like this is a floor it looks like it's a um, it's a reflective floor so I'll keep floor selected we're then going to go over to where we just messed with the reflections and we're going to click fall off we're going to select fall off and the fall off just takes away like some of the reflection here so it's not quite as um, prominent and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do with that as well so we're going to go to the reflection and the reflectivity is that even a word reflectivity we're going to just drag it down a little bit so it's not quite so prominent and the blur amount we're just going to increase the blur amount just a tiny bit so our reflectivity how much it reflects is about 23 percent 23 25 percent and the blur is just on seven um, and that's as simple as creating a floor is in Motion 5. So I'm just going to show you quickly what you could do. I'm going to move this light out a little bit. I'm going to turn the intensity of the light down and take away some of the fall off on the light. And let's change the colour. Let's make it a nice deep blue, light blue, like a, like a light blue. And then I'm just going to increase the intensity of the light a little bit more. Move the light up and across. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with the light there. So then, we're going to make sure our um, timeline is at the start, or, or our um, our play bar is at the start of our timeline. We're going to click the record button, then we're going to move up to eight seconds. And we're going to drag this light across the screen like this, and with the blue arrow, we're just going to move it in as well, and then drag it across some more. Okay, and then we're going to deselect record, drag it back to the start of our timeline, just click off so we've got nothing selected and click play and um, yeah that's what happens so now it looks like we've got a floor within motion 5 i hope that helps you out if you have any questions or any comments please leave them in the uh, 